Okay, so here we are at our last and final video together. We have uh, chapter 24, Sustainable Solutions. Okay, so let's take a look at sustainability on a, a college campus. So the first chunk of this chapter uh, discusses sustainable options uh, within a college campus because if you think about it, uh, a university really is a great place to start uh, a campaign. So young kids tend to be more progressive, not always, but sometimes um, they tend to be a little more open-minded to say the future because that's where they're going to be living. Uh, so some of these campaigns could be large recycling campaigns at certain universities, uh, green architecture, as you can see the plans for a library here, pretty cool stuff. Um, as well as just promoting energy efficiency, renewability, and uh, carbon neutrality uh, on campus. That's uh, a great place to start. Okay, so let's take a look at sustainability, the triple bottom line. So I've mentioned the term triple bottom line before, and really when thinking about sustainability um, in the environment, that's what comes up. So uh, a lot of people think that when you talk about sustainability and you're talking about environmentalism and everything, uh, environmental studies, they think you're just focused strictly on saving the planet. That's not entirely true. Sustainability really is a triple bottom line, bringing together the goals of meeting social goals, uh, economic goals, as well as environmental goals. So really sustainability is in there among the planet, the people, and profit. It's more than just uh, saving the planet. It's making sure that everything runs smoothly in the process of doing so. Okay, let's take a look at sustainability strategies. So this is pretty much a recap of the entire book, uh, essentially, at this point. But these are just some strategies uh, in order to find sustainability. So consumers and citizens wield the power. If you think about it, um, say as a citizen you can um, rally together and try to get a bill passed, try to get a law passed. That's an obvious uh, solution. But even as a consumer, you have more power. It's easier. Um, say you don't agree with the way that uh, a certain uh, vegetable is farmed by a certain company, you can boycott that company with some friends, and even though it's just a small number of you, you get enough people together, consumer have the buying power. So if you decide not to buy something, that hurts the business. So uh, more power than you think. Okay, uh, and then the point is that uh, quality of life can be maintained without such consumptive practices. So yes, the middle class is rising nationwide and a lot of people are gaining money and thus people want electronics and all of these luxuries. And that can still be the case. We just need to find more sustainable means of uh, maintaining that quality of life without being quite as consumptive. Um, another good point to notice is that population growth must eventually level off. Um, we can't possibly sustain so many more billions and billions of people uh, unless we do find really, really good solutions, which we probably will. But uh, even at that, the population's growing at a very, very quick rate, so we're going to have to find out what, uh, what to do about that as well. Um, and lastly, uh, promoting self-sufficiency in industry and supporting green technologies is a very, very easy, uh, important, sustainable strategy to uh, keep in mind. Okay, uh, Earth is an island. So it's a very, very good way to think about uh, sustainability and sustainable practices by thinking of Earth as one big island that can't import or export. So if you really think about it, Earth is one big island, right, in the solar system. So basically, uh, you can't import things from other planets yet, and you can't export things from other planets yet. And so we only have the resources that we have on Earth. So we uh, can either conserve what we have, make renewable technologies to keep uh, our resources replenishing, or simply die out, which is depressing, but it's true. So uh, these uh, strategies are actually very important unless uh, we want this last option here to happen. Okay, so conclusion. We need to make changes. That's been made very, very clear in this book. However, the human race has proved uh, its ability to persevere through challenges, and therefore, I personally believe that we'll find alternatives and continue to prosper. Okay, and uh, that's the end of this AP Environmental Science book. I want to thank all of you so much for watching my videos. I hope you enjoy them, as well as I hope you enjoy the AP Environmental Science curriculum, as it is very interesting and uh, a very, very big topic in our growing world. Uh, so thank you so much, and uh, I hope to see you in the future. Bye.